Imagine huge containers dwarfing famous buildings, each capable of holding over 20,000 containers simultaneously. Yet, these aren't even the largest ones around. We have three more enormous container ships so impressive that it's hard to believe they were built by humans. Managed by Evergreen Marine from Taiwan and registered in Panama, the Ever Alot is one of the Evergreen A-Class container ships. Theoretically, these ships can carry 23,990 containers each, but there's still another ship even larger than these, which we'll get to later. Based on their gross tonnage, these are the third largest type of container ships ever built. Evergreen Marine has ordered 13 such ships, with 6 being built by CSSC and the other 7 by Samsung Heavy Industries in South Korea. Currently, 11 of these ships are operational and 2 more are under construction. One ship from this class set a world record by transporting the most containers ever from Yantian to Europe carrying 2,710 metal boxes across the globe, as reported by Taiwan News. Samsung Heavy Industries agreed to construct the Ever Ace for Evergreen Marine for $150 million in 2019, while a CSSC subsidiary built the Ever Alot for slightly less, at $145 million. This ship is 1,312 feet long and 202 feet wide with a draught of 56 feet, allowing it to carry between 23,990 and 24,200 containers. The maximum weight limit for these containers is 240,000 tons, equivalent to moving 24 Eiffel Towers simultaneously. The ship features a pair of bow thrusters at the front to help it maneuver better at slow speeds. The accommodation bridge is in the middle of the ship, flanked by two lifeboats on each side. The crew's living quarters and the accommodation deck are also situated here. The ship includes a total of nine decks, each with a specific purpose. The top deck, known as Monkey Island, serves as the observation area. Just below it is the navigation bridge, which contains the steering controls, communication equipment, and engine controls essentially. It's the command center for the ship. Below that is the H-deck, home to the electrical equipment. Decks F, E, and D are where the crew's sleeping quarters are located. The C-deck features recreational facilities like a gym, locker rooms, and a theater. The B deck is where the ship's food is prepared in the galley, with additional rooms for food storage and dining. The A deck functions as the emergency deck, housing the fire control station, hospital, and drying room. Finally, the lowest level, the U deck, is used for storing crew members' luggage. The Ever A lot utilizes hydrodynamic optimization technology to achieve high speeds without increasing fuel usage. Its power comes from the WinGD 11X 92B main engine, generating 58,600 kilowatt of energy or 79,500 horsepower, enabling the ship to reach speeds of about 22.5 knots. Some compare the engine size to that of a house, with pistons measuring 3.1 feet in diameter. For perspective, the largest engine in the Guinness World Record has pistons of 3.15 feet in diameter. In 2020, the largest container ship by gross tonnage, operated by French CMA CGM, was powered by liquefied natural gas (LNG). Its construction revolved around a 660,000 CBT fuel tank, storing LNG at negative 261 degrees Fahrenheit negative 61 degrees Celsius, allowing the ship to travel from Asia to Northern Europe non-stop for a 23,400-mile journey. Isolation of the fuel tank is crucial due to the need to maintain low temperatures for the fuel to remain liquid, with two additional layers of isolation for safety.
the CMD WinGD12X92DF engine, designed for LNG-powered vessels, was specially built for the ship, being the most powerful LNG engine ever constructed for a container vessel. Like the ship, the engine was too massive to assemble in one piece. After the crankshaft was fitted, extensive testing ensured its efficiency before the final assembly producing 63,800 kilowatt of energy, equivalent to 60 wind turbines or 10 Airbus A380 jet engines. CMA CGM chose to use LNG fuel because it produces significantly less pollution, 20% less CO2, 99% fewer sulfur oxides, 92% less nitrogen oxide, and 91% less particulate matter. As LNG is the cleanest fossil fuel, these ships are moving closer to zero emissions. Regarding the construction, the container ship was so large that it had to be assembled in sections. These sections were expertly welded together to ensure no leaks. The first part to be placed was the LNG tank in the center of the dry dock, followed by other sections. Large cranes lifted the massive steel slabs to form the ship's hull, and special painting cranes were used for its distinctive blue-green color. Workers painted the details by hand. The entire assembly of the ship's hull by the China State Shipbuilding Corporation took about 14 months from start to finish. With constructions likely starting in 2018, the ship underwent extensive and rigorous sea trials before entering service on September 23, 2020. The Jacques Chardet, notable for its immense size, measures 1,312 feet in length and has a beam of 210 feet, making it longer than four football fields and about 300 feet longer than the USS Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. It can carry 23,123 TEUs, making it one of the largest container ships in the world. In 2017, CMA CGM paid CSSC $1.2 billion for nine similar ships, averaging $133 million per ship. The largest container ship by TEU or 20-foot equivalent unit is the Hudong type operated by the Mediterranean Shipping Company, MSC. This massive ship can carry 24,346 containers worldwide. MSC planned to build 10 Hudong type ships, but so far, only two have been completed, the MSC Arena and the MSC Loretto. Both ships are registered under the Liberian flag, but operated by Swiss-based MSC. The ships are enormous, each measuring 1,312 feet in length and 210 feet wide. With a gross tonnage of 233,000, the MSC Arena, built by YZJ Shipbuilding in Singapore, embarked on its first voyage on April 10, 2023. From the port of Ganga, carrying a diverse cargo from furniture and textiles to heavy appliances and electronics destined for Europe. Although the exact cost of each vessel isn't known, MSC secured a lease from Boom Leasing in 2020 in China for four ships at a total of $600 million, suggesting each ship cost approximately $150 million. Container ships are remarkable not only for their large size and ability to carry vast amounts of cargo, but also for their essential role in the maritime industry. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, ring that notification bell to keep posted, and you can check out Luxury Explore for more interesting topics such as this one. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.